His destiny was to become a unit. God damn. Let me guess, this happened in like a week too, right? Sadie the squirrel has eaten three jack-o'-lanterns so far. <laughs> They found a taste for pumpkin. It's better than finding a taste for human. I'm not saying our last cat was big, but here he is on Google Earth. <laughs> Why you gotta call him out like that? He looks totally normal. My 67 pound cabbage. God dang. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't want any of it. It's just pretty cool. Vivo, eight weeks. Vivo at four years. Oh, he's got that big Ron Perlman face. My dad used to take me to feed the buffalo outside of town when I was little. We called this guy Big Daddy. I wonder why. Look at this dude. My poor dad was so proud of the watermelon he grew. Turns out it was a big ass cucumber. I mean, that's still good though. I for one welcome our mutant carrot overlords. I don't. My dad met someone in Sudan before he played in the NBA. My dad is five foot 10. Holy God. Picture of the day. Nine year old who of Crown Heights? Brought a four gallon bottle to 7-Eleven's bring your own cup day. <laughs> Look, they set the rules. If they okayed it, then they, that's it, they okayed it. Looks like the bottom 25% of the carrot didn't install. Yeah, or it didn't finish, but he's still finishing up party mode, so. This is Fat Fred, he is a boy, he is not pregnant, he weighs 28 pounds, yes, he's on a diet, no, it's not working well. Fat Fred loves people. You may come in and pet him. He sits on small children and loves being scratched near his hips. Fat Fred is not uh, up for adoption, but we do have smaller models available. <laughs> There's a f pillow pet outside. <laughs> God damn it. In 1985, a black bear found and ate $15 million worth of c there was probably a five minute window before he died where he was the most dangerous apex predator of any f continent. American, what, pig? Oh, I'm good. Daddy with his kids. God damn it, dude. Just, I don't like any of him. Uh, he scares me. He just f scares me. The chief of police. Holy f What you're looking at is the largest single cell organism in the world known as Valonia ventricosa. Imagine the mitochondria on this one. What a f powerhouse. The Irish president. Yeah, where's the unit? Where's the absolute unit here? You talking about this short old man or his slightly big dog? I don't get it. When he gets in the tub, sometimes he purrs so loud that the shampoo bottles fall over. True power. He is very overweight. Tiny Rabbit is obsessed with giant girlfriend who's four times his size. <laughs> Freya is making herself known and comfortable, all 900 kilos of her, by lounging on docked boats. Jesus. Freya the walrus is sinking boats in Norway and having a real hot girl summer. <laughs> this absolute unit of a wrench I used. King D. Nothing but respect for this, for his tailor, excuse me. Well, his tailor's putting in the work. It's just still not very good work from said tailor. Seven foot two man in an economy seat. Yeah, that... <sighs> I do feel bad for people over that size because none of the averages take them into account. So this poor f guy is going to be super uncomfortable for however long his flight is. And fuck paying for first class everywhere you go, right? Until proven otherwise, I am declaring myself the creator of the largest Rice Krispie Square in Canada. That is a cube. This six foot nine, 330 pound riot officer in the Tulsa PD, okay. The Ardennes, the Ardennes, I, I don't know, is one of the oldest breeds of draft horse dating back to ancient Rome. I can see why they stuck around. Couldn't kill that guy with a meteor. How do you get a cat to be rotund? Well, that one just looks like he's naturally that shape, thankfully. Robert Earl Hughes holds the record for the heaviest human in the world able to walk without assistance. Jesus. He reached a weight of almost 1,100 pounds and his chest measured 10 feet around. I do have to say that is actually f crazy that he was able to walk. I mean, unassisted, he's got a cane though. I just, what kind of a life are you having, really? The world's biggest hovercraft, the Russian Zuber class. Holy f God, I know this is, this perspective is kind of forced, maybe, possibly. This is a hell of a long lens, but God damn, that thing looks dystopian as hell. This chonky salamander we found in the garden. What's up with the chubby little lizard boys? This cat is ginormous. Again, it's a Ron Perlman kitty. She's going straight through the wall with him if he decides to. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's one you gotta let go of. This wolf dog at a shelter when he got too big and too much to handle. His DNA testing came back as 87% gray wolf, 8.6% Siberian husky, and 3.9% German shepherd. Wow.
Huh. Doesn't look a thing like a wolf. Crocodile measuring 8.6 meters, or 28 feet. God. Shrek was a merino... Merino? Well, whatever. Sheep from New Zealand. He escaped and avoided shearing for six years by hiding in a cave. <laughs> the poor guy. The poor guy. Look at that. South Carolina mom delivers 14-pound baby. You put the baby in the crib, and he says, shut the door behind you. I'm pretty sure my mom was 13 pounds when she was born. I know she's gonna hate me uh, telling the world that, but, I mean, come on. Come on. My absolute unit of a baby brother. For reference, my sister holding him was four. Holy God! This breed of dog is called a... a borzoi? It is a... it has an absolute unit of a sniffer. <laughs> you sure that's not an anteater? He drinks chonka cola. Is that one of the perca colas from Nazi zombies? Also, God! The prophecy spoke of his return, and he is here. The power in that stance. I want someone to draw him without the fur and the big butt and everything. You know what? Honestly, wait a minute. Kind of looks like he's wearing a giant cloak and he's got those two legs. First time mother gives birth to 13 pound baby girl. The second biggest in the UK after her bump was so big, doctors thought she was having twins and her skin stretched so much it bled. Oh man, that's awful though. Not, not the baby, but that must have been actual waking hell for mom. Bodybuilders in suits. It just doesn't look right. It doesn't. I'm sorry, man. Sun unit. Why would this picture count? Isn't it fake? Can tails be units? Because, oh my god. Whoo! Is he part squirrel? An absolute tank. Holy sh**. I am in awe of some of these creatures. This Korean statue depicts a Jesus so jacked, it looks like his last supper was pure protein. The biggest Mac. Holy Lord. Hey, wait, was this the guy that was on the plane earlier on the little economy seat? Was he like flying over to a, I mean, of course. Also, wait a minute, where in the world do they serve mixed spaghetti? Where is this? What, what, it, seriously, where the hell is this? I wanna go try some mixed spaghetti or everything else on this menu. What am I looking at? Aquarium apologizes for using thick and oh lord to describe an otter. Why would it need to do that? German cyclist Robert, not gonna ruin your last names, absolute thighs. I mean, yeah, you want to be a cyclist that has to do all that. Oh man, was this like fresh after a race or something too? Also, there... <sighs> That can't be f***ing comfortable. It, it can't be. That has to actually be the most obnoxious thing in the world. Those f thighs, though. This man who lost weight. Hell yeah, dude. Look at you f go, man. This absolute unit of a cat poster we bought at a thrift store for $10. <laughs> oh, that's f awesome. Finally, a challenging tire flip. Ooh, yeah, yeah, it's slightly challenging. It's no big deal. Just a couple of tries. My aunt's cat is huge. That's gotta be a dog. Get a load of this toad. <laughs> what? Jeez. Looks like he's wearing football protective gear. I don't know what it was. Uh, we'll call it American football armor. That's what we'll call it. Yeah, there we go. Shoulder pads, pauldrons, whatever you want to say. Chonky Frank. Does he look so sad? A tremendous amount of good boy. God damn. Some of these animals really scare me. 24 years ago today, this post box survived a truck bomb with 1,500 kilos of explosives. That is mad impressive. In awe of the size of this tuna caught off the coast of New Zealand. Oh yeah, that's one of them thousand pounder boys. 14 year old, six foot one, 300 pound football recruit, Tyler Parker. Yeah, that dude's gonna be making a lot of money in the NFL very, very soon. A lot of money. Andre the Giant holding a beer can. Yeah, that poor guy. No, for real, that poor f man. Ugh. White House chef Andre Rush. Is he still the White House chef? I feel like this is the type of guy that, you know, Trump wouldn't have had the balls to fire, you know, just in case. Or is he the one that hired him? I don't know. I don't give a sh I hope this guy is still working at the White House, because he's cool as hell, man. My parents' dog, who I got to see over the holidays. Holy sh**. He's got to weigh like 9,000 pounds. You could ride that horse. The Double King. You mean the Alaskan King? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, the Alaskan King. And it's like a $20,000 mattress. Don't know how much that f well, not box spring, that giant bed frame would cost, but holy crap, that bed requires a house all on its own. Kendrick Lamar's bodyguard is an absolute unit. Holy sh**. And uh, look, if you're gonna have a bodyguard, you may as well have a giant. The mountain lion is a unit. Holy sh**. Do these animals have access to barbells out there? Is that what they're called? Barbells? Hold on. Yeah, do they have access to those out there, man? Oh, hey, look, it's uh, Game of Thrones, the mountain holding a regular mug. Let's see here. Yep, he's just a really big f 
guy. I heard, uh, well, aren't his brothers bigger or some sh like that? The sun, neutron star, black hole, chunk. I'm not a supporter of the chonk bullshit anymore. It's called animal abuse. The seven foot four, 14 year old Chinese basketball player. I look at whenever I see something like this, I just hope they're not in constant f pain, man. Honey, I'm home. Uh, you know the whole thing about polar bears disappearing? I think this one just ate all the rest. Cookie is a 25 pound absolute unit. Cookie, oh my God. That's not a cat, that's a small dark matter generator. Gigantic carrots. I named them length and girth. <laughs> Everything you need right there. Undefeated arm wrestling champion, Levin the Leviathan. I think this guy skipped every single leg, leg day just to, just to work on his arms. How tiny the phone looks. T to be fair, who in their right mind would walk up to that person and be like, yes, I'm going to arm wrestle them. The sheer size of this monitor lizard climbing the gate. That, yeah, that that's like over a six foot tall gate. That's, that, I, I grew up with like tiny little lizards. If I saw something that big, I'd, I'd leave or I'd pinch myself to wake myself up or both. The Netflix low budget adaptation of 101 Dalmatians called 100 Dalmatians in One. <laughs> Remember what I said about the polar bears? This one ate all the Dalmatians. Look at how much of a unit the Big Mac used to be before 1975. What happened in 1975? Why did it get so small? To be fair, I'm not sure there's a whole lot less meat. Well, there's a little bit less meat on it, but it's it's much more poofy. So like, I'd, I'd rather just have more meat. Fun fact, if you're in New York City and looking for a burger like the one on the left, Jimbo's Hamburgers, Uptown. I used to go up there specifically for those. They look exactly like they're massive. Big majestic boy. Holy hell, that's, that's royal. You have royalty in your apartment or house. Or, uh, like, I'm not sure what the, the lineage of this cat is, but you should probably respect it. Dutch guy in Filipino McDonald's. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I had a feeling that was that was about how that was gonna end up. An absolute tactical unit. Sir, this is Meal Team Six. I think of this image every time I think of the, the like the tactical guys from like North Georgia all the way up to like South Virginia. It's a very specific type. Texas has them too. There is Tull, and then there is Yao Ming. Good goodness sakes, a lot. This reminds me of the photos of John Fetterman, who is a U.S. politician. That that every time he's in pictures with other politicians, just looked like he could eat all of them. He also just wears hoodies everywhere. It's, it's, it's amazing. This eagle has not missed any meals, and apparently all of them were like protein rich and might have had some growth hormones. Cause uh, I've not seen a bigger embodiment of America. That's Uncle Sam's personal eagle. Unit of bug, a one-to-one -one model, extinct for 250 million years or so. The hell do you mean, oh or so? That thing better be freaking dead. God, can you imagine like that coming towards you in an age where flamethrowers did, I don't even know if a flamethrower would help. The thing's armored, like, I, I just feel safer in a tank, just like run it over. This monster of a moo. He looks like he can walk through two feet of solid steel. I don't know about solid steel, but two feet of plywood, probably wouldn't stand a chance. Also, uh, steroids. <clears throat> German man builds world's heaviest motorbike out of scrap metal. Of course it's German. Of course it was, have you seen their tanks? Can it be overdone? Yes, we shall do it overdone. That's absolutely magnificent though. I love this. This is like European redneck engineering. It's beautiful. I bought a fern that was simply described as large and I did not know what the frack I was getting myself into. <laughs> Imagine ordering, like, ordering a little tiny windowsill plant and that thing shows up, like a RAV4 just pulls up and is like, here's your fern, it ate its last three owners. Oh, this car from 1920. Yeah, I contain multitudes. This horse is an absolute unit. Oh my God, it's an absolute unit that gives the biggest hugs. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, also it's a terrifyingly large horse. But it's so cute. This African giant bullfrog I saw tonight. That is actually not as big as I thought it would be. I, I think I was imagining like Hypnotoad. And we have double quarter pounder with cheese. Uh, nope from the past. The Thunderbird, an absolute unit of a bird. How is this a nope? How, this is magnificent. I love this. Can you imagine seeing that thing like soaring through the sky? Like it's not gonna eat you. It's magnificent, but it can't pick up a human. So like it poses you only a mild threat. Our now six and a half month old puppy. The vet says he is not at all overweight, uh, just big bone. He doesn't look overweight. Oh, no, you can you can see all his shoulders and everything. He's such a big floofy, but he's six and a half months old. Oh my God, I just processed. Holy hell. What breed? 
Is that a Malamute? Or part Malamute? Oh my god. If you've never seen an Alaska Malamute, look them up. They're adorable and they're giant. Big donut. Nah, that, that's a pancake. Like somebody was making a pancake. It was like, oh crap. Oh crap, I'm on donut duty to put a hole in it. Nobody's gonna notice. Old school absolute unit. <laughs> I thought, it, I thought it was the mom for a second. I was looking at the mom. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I guess the, the you know, corset thing is kind of... Oh, my God, the child. I'd hate to get in a fight with her on, like, the playground. She'd just absorb you. You have only made us stronger. <laughs> the only transformation Big Zyme man do. Tidy floof. Man floof. I think that thing is the size of him. That That's probably a Malamute. Or at least part Malamute. Or something. I don't know. Obese 100-year-old crocodile dies from overeating... <laughs> After worshippers keep throwing at chickens and goats for good luck. Ah, uh, this is the way I want to go. Dude only had a hundred years of good luck in him. Sorry, it, like he's gotta check out at some point. This chimp with alopecia. That's that's some terrifying muscles. That's a well. The new fear unlocked. Found this big boy. Yeah, you know what? Um, you can you can have the dumpster. Yeah, the rental fee isn't that expensive. It's yeah, it's fine. Yeah, sure. No problem. Volleyball player, Hannah Donaldson. I like how everybody else in the picture is just like, yeah, I'm glad she's on our team. <laughs> like all of them, are, I'm sure they're very good at volleyball and, and I'm, they look all look very athletic, but like you can't be on that team and just be like, yeah, we're with her. Big bowler. Oh, okay. I screwed up before. Uh, there's one other polar bear eating all the other polar bears. It's this guy. Built to last. This is not Winnie the Pooh. Built for tough. This is Winnie the Pooh after like 10 years of street life and like four years in prison. Came out like, the hell you want, Christopher Robin? Sup, sup. The pose, the power, the presence. World's biggest birder weighs 777 pounds. Awesome weight. Uh, question, how do you eat this? Like, it's not like the cookie. Like, cookies last a couple days, maybe even a week. Uh, that's already got like tomatoes and like sauce and crap on. like this is gonna die in like six hours and i know they're gonna cut it up but like there's gonna be one guy that's just like gonna get a bowl of tomatoes like a whole bowl like that's gonna be his his section the president of mongolia tough i'm not even gonna try i'm not even gonna try and he'd probably beat me up for if i tried so you know what yeah this is fine you, you can just, you can be like this. this is awesome cool good for you I'm just gonna run away now and never visit Mongolia. This giant 161 centimeter Pringles can. How how do you get it out? How do you retrieve the chip? <laughs> I just wanted a Pringles can, man! I just wanted a can of Why do you have to do this? PS1 Hey Grid is a chonker. Oh, what the hell? I was told to share this pic of Mr. Puddley here. That that that's a whole ass leopard. Like that, that's that's clearly a zoo cat that just got a die job and snuck into your house and is pretending to be a house cat. That's 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 what that is. Pupils banned from feeding school dog after it balloons to the size of a cow. Uh, you big boy. I also might get him taken to the vet because I like I've seen overweight dogs before and that that there might be some problems there too. Like please take care of your unofficial school pets. This NYC rat, absolute unit. Yeah, all they're all just, they're just terrifying. Just don't don't look down. Don't look at the don't look at the tracks. When you're waiting for the subway, just don't you don't want to see it. Doesn't. The terrifying part about this is and rewind two seconds. Like this is a this is a storefront or apartment or something being renovated. Several floors up. Look in the corner. Like that's one of the avenues. Like this is this is several floors up. It's it's not just the basements and the subway. Like this is like financial district territory. And there's this on the fourth. I just leave. I just leave out the window. When I face even the slightest obstacle in my life. <laughs> This dog-sized cat! That's a spy of some sort. This, this is a spy. He's way too watchful. He's just like looking at you like, Don't tell anyone. Day 43. Human still thinks I'm a cat. This horse! That's... That is a massive rear end on that horse. I'm sure this horse also is is very large too. In I have no frame of reference. I have no idea how far away the tree is. I would say this horse next to like a VW Beetle for scale. Found this chunker at the zoo. Uh, he seems happy. Oh, well, there's your other 100 years of good luck. <laughs> Get some goats and chickens. This rock I saw yesterday. Ooh, rock. You want to start a street fight with me? Bring it on. But you're going to be surprised about how ugly it gets. You don't even know my real name. I'm the f***ing Lizard King. This ancient Roman bridge. That... Okay, I have questions about the bridge. I'm sure the river was much bigger. That's not my concern. Um, what kind of horse are you, are anybody climbing up the side of that? <laughs> you have not 
made a bridge, you have made a stargate. This big pain. Holy hell, that's a big pain. In the deep blue sea, in the deep blue sea. Oh my God, no. Nope, I'm oh, good. Is this more in the deep blue sea? I mean, just... Did somebody just let this loose in New York City? Cause this looks like Central Park. I'm scared. Fat bear season is here. Check out this big boy in Wrist Canyon. I, I'm not entirely convinced that's that's a bear. It might just be a balloon with a bear head nailed to it. Absolute unit of a sculpture. Senegal Renaissance Monument. See, this looks really cool as you pan down. You're like, oh, wow, you know, that's a really big sculpture. And then you realize, like, that's a crane. Those are steps. These are people. Her kneecap is the size of a Mini Cooper. How did they make this? Yao Ming is so massive. Oh, my freaking God. Uh, to put it in perspective, his wife, Ye Li, is six foot three. Yeah, yeah, the whole family is big as hell. Going back to the John Fetterman memes, all I can think of is, why does John Fetterman, the tallest senator, not simply eat the other senators? In awe at the size of this chip. That's a whole potato. Like that, that's the perfect cross section of a potato that went into the slicer and somehow made it on the other side of QC. Like, oh, I'm a whole plate. Here is Hogarth, my absolute unit of a snail. <laughs> not sure which is better. The fact that you have a massive snail as a pet no, not that I would want that. Uh, or the fact that you named him Hogarth. A boon spider. Tarantula family above my door. No, no, no. Burn the house down. Property insurance claim in three, two, one. These units. Can you imagine the 5G reception you'd get with that guy in the bottom left? Bottom right is clearly just like a mining drill <laughs> that grew sentience and decided to live in the hills. And I appreciate the guy in the top right has a roll cage. It was for safety, you know? I work at a grocery store and I uh, had to restock this absolute unit of a butternut squash stock. But yeah, uh, that's, there's, there's nothing polite I can say about this. It's a, it looks like a giant peanut. That's, that's the safest, that's the safest thing I could come up with. George Hackenschmidt, creator of the bench press and the hack squat. I like how he's completely dignified on the left and then on the back, just ripped as hell. Get you a man that can do both. Absolute unit of a vegetable. I found at the store. Not sure if vegetable or a lethal murder weapon. A wizard summoning an absolute unit as a familiar. Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, I really like that. <laughs> I love the I thought of an adorable just meow meow kitty from hell descending from the clouds and smothering your enemies. Yeah, guys, I'd sign it for this. Sweet potato fry. I mean, did you order just a sweet potato fry? Like one, because <laughs> here you go. If you don't use the plural when you order it, you get this. This Google Tasks guy. Not sure if massive man or tiny head. Just saying. The wing on this car. Oh, there are bigger. Oh, man. It's pretty big, especially given that the car itself does not need that much downforce. Um, but yeah, the 70s produced bigger wings than that. There's, there's some massive ones. These colored greens. What, 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 why do you need that much colored greens? <laughs> nothing, nothing legal ever starts with this many colored greens in one place. The four absolute units of the apocalypse. That's sheep, that's possibly several. Armored trash panda, okay. Baby tiger of devastation, I can live with that. And just, Rotund seal. Big thirsty boy. Staying hydrated in a Sydney heat. Oh my god, this is a giant fluffy dog. Ooh, the Australian just pet that giant, but specifically that giant fluffy dog. And visit, you know, the rest of the MKT. The, 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 the specifically pet this dog too. The amount of fluff on this dog. That, that's a stuffed animal. You're, you cannot tell them, I don't care if it moves, I don't care if it barks, and it's been somebody's pet for 10 years. That is a stuffed animal. Tony been hitting the gym. Oh, hot damn. It's just as clean as the freaking shoulder carved out of marble. Jesus. Town stalked by giant two meter tall, 95 kilo kangaroo with a torn ear who <laughs> emerges from the bushes to terrorize dog walkers and golfers. I have no problem with golfers being terrorized, but dog walkers, that, that, that's not cool. Also, that's six feet tall and 209 pounds for those of us using freedom units. Triceratops femur, uh, extreme left, versus elephant femur. Oh, okay, I thought the thing in the middle was the triceratops femur. Sorry, that was terrible. I thought triceratops were slightly shorter than elephants. Now I'm not so sure, and I'm glad they're extinct. Unit of a cactus. This is, this is one. That's, wow, holy hell. I had no idea they were so complicated inside. That's, that's like plant infrastructure right there. I saw your NYC rat and present you a UK mutant rat. What the hell is a mutant? You no! Know? No, what the hell is a mutant rat? No, I don't like this. No, stop the rat wars, please. Thank you. This fairy unit. 
I hope this fairy unit had a wonderful Halloween. Absolute dandelion. Well, one half of that word is correct. It is definitely dandy. It is not exactly lion. Absolute unit of a zip. It's funny to notice that no matter what the size of the zipper, the handle will always break off. Ooh, Canadian likes. <laughs> Hi, lady. That's surely a hairy, fluffy, thick deodorant spray you have there. Crystals in the cave of the crystals in Chihuahua, Mexico. Wait, it's a name of a place? It, okay, look, I feel so, Is it racist of me for not to not realize that? Or, or is it just uneducated? Or is that kind of the same thing? Quick, be distracted by the big thing before you call me racist. Look, it's so big and pointy. I Seriously, I'd hate to fall in that place. Someone correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure these sort of spaces aren't safe to be in for more than like a, like a few minutes at a time because you will die. Something about the heat? Or I'm not really sure. Someone correct me in the comments. Do it. Do the typing. Absolute unit of a moth. It's a giant wood moth, if you're wondering. What? Well, now, hang on. Ref, a uh, subreddit ref, I'd argue that this shouldn't belong in this subreddit because we expect it to be big. It's got giant in its name. I'm sorry, moth, but I vote you be disqualified. Now you can bring the whole family along in your truck. 2016 Ford F-350 six-door. Wow. Look at all those seats I would never fill. Adult knit onesie. Ooh, okay. You made that. Definitely, that's, I'm, I can approve that. Yep, you made the thing, mm-hmm. Wow! Okay, is it, seriously, that's a big brain. That is a very big brain. If it starts asking you where its testicles are, run. This absolute unit of an opossum. You know, that's one thing I'll give America credit for with their animals being more dangerous than Australia's. Our possums look adorable. Yours, I understand why you have the O in front of possum. We see ours and we're like, possum. You see yours and you're like, oh, possum. Side note, how weird is the name possum? Just keep saying that to yourself. Possum, 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 possum. It just, it's, I think of pus now. That, <laughs> now they're gross. This guy. Ooh, look out. That's his thinking stance. It gives him plus five intellect. This absolute unit of a tick I pulled out of my cat. Two cent coin for scale. Oh man, that, oh, that's juicy. That's, oh, that's gonna squirt. This oyster I was served today. Wow, look at all that mucus. Seriously, ha humans, how, why do we eat this? There are so many sources of protein and other nutrients out there in the world and you, you choose to eat this. How is there not something wrong with you? I had some trouble with cooking pancakes on the stove today, so I thought of resorting to the rice cooker to cook the rest of the batter. Welp, I see no problems here. You're merely bulk cooking your pancakes. Giant salamander's chunky paw. How wholesome. Don't let anyone near Fur Affinity see this. Lord knows what fanfic they'll create with a slimy reptilian hand. One floor per family member. Wow, the new Sims graphics mods you can get out there are insane. Absolutely unit of a pine cone. Jesus, that's, that would crush someone's skull. Are you sure you're not just really, really short? Hulk. The pit bull. Okay, that dog could just eat your face off in one bite. No effort required. I can't tell if this person is just really short or this dog is immassive. Absolute unit of a pizza pie we just had at a birthday party. Dad, for size comparison. <laughs> That's nothing for comparison. Show me your banana. I mean, how else are you gonna compare the sizes? With metrics? Ha! <laughs> My absolute unit of a baby playpen. I ordered the wrong size. Didn't know they came in WrestleMania size. See, this is where a sunk cost fallacy comes in. Now you just have to have a second child and make them wrestle each other. Make it a wholesome community event while you're at it. Set up tickets, make people place bets on the winner. No better way to bring the family together on Thanksgiving. Largest human poop in discovery. Lloyd Bank Croprolite. Okay, why? I don't, I don't want to see this. Oh, I'm, okay. Uh, banana for scale, please. Let's just Photoshop a banana next to it. There we go. Perfect. 420 pound dumbbell. Just an easy casual question to ask you. For who? People who like wee jokes, that's great. All they're going to be able to do is roll this thing around. Probably not as exciting as other posts here, but absolute units of cauliflower and cabbage my parents grew in their garden. Wow, you're right, it's not as exciting. Rafa Nadal in 2008. This is a real badass of a photo until you realize that a microsecond later in this photo, he's gonna go, uh, Oh Lord, he really coming? I am Sky Kitty, fear me. This monster truck at Home Depot. That's nice, someone made a real life off-brand transformer from everyone's childhood. 
look safe to eat, right? Yeah, you go ahead and take a bite. You let us know when the stroke kicks in. Spending my Sunday as one does, looking at photos of dough rise disasters. Damn, that car's boot is doughy. This bull, hot dog that literally looks like it's a cow just on top of another cow. At some point, I have to question just how much muscle is actually comfortable to walk around in. Mushroom my dad found in the forest, egg for scale. Wow, okay, yeah, let's censor that. I, mm, could your dad have maybe cut it out of the ground a, a different way? This carrot my wife just brought home. Oh God, please don't make the same mistake as the dad. Oh, okay, honestly, I prefer the phallic look now as compared to having it wrapped in plastic. Absolute unit of a saltwater crocodile. Yes, here in Australia, we have a terminology for this size. It's called average, but because we do use the metric system here, it's rather confusing. So thankfully, this wonderful man is pushing a banana near the crocodile so the Americans can understand the size comparison. There was another guy doing it earlier, but well, there's a reason the crocodile's rather chunky right now. How big this toilet seat is. Safety glasses for scale. Well, it's a good thing you had those things that go right near your eyes to be put on the toilet seat instead of, you know, maybe a roll of toilet paper that could easily have been left there instead. Absolute seal. Yes, that is absolutely a famous R&B artist. Can I stop laughing at the sheep my dad saw today? Absolute unit. No, that is not a sheep. That is a holy sheep. Obese 100 year old crocodile dies from overeating after worshippers keep throwing at chickens and goats for good luck. This is the way I want to go. This front door my parents just had installed. Size 11 men's shoe for reference. Jeez, that door looks like an arm workout just answering it. This sandwich my nono showed me. Yes, I'll have the foreshadowing 30 minutes in the toilet, please. Fossils of a turtle the size of a car have been unearthed in South America. Carlos for scale. Carlos is a standard unit of measurement. Each Carlos is twin bananas. What is twin, you ask? Correct. The beast of a snapping turtle that lives in my pond. Oh man, does he even move? It looks like he's melted into the footpath. This breed of dog is called Borzoi. It has an absolute unit of a sniffer. Well, this dog's basically been treated to the Karen treatment of now when everyone sees it, you can't help but make the noise. What's that? You can't make the noise yourself. Well here, let's be- <laughs> Absolute unit of a black bear. The scale, the size of that fish, is one Carlos. Snow leopard in Ladakh, India. Don't take a photo of me! Hmm, this animal could kill me. However, I do want the upvote, so ka-ching. So fat. In any other subreddit, this would be considered body shaming. You know, I imagine a lot of creatures would keep this gecko alive and make it always let it go of its tail because it would just grow a full meal. That tail right there is a full meal when it lets it go. Absolute unit of a Sour Patch Kids. My god, it's the Omega Patch. Kai Green, iconic bodybuilder, still maintains this physique year round and eats up to seven pounds of chicken per day. I tried to compete with him for one day of eating and I realized he's superhuman. I just don't know how you financially survive affording all that food. Calcium oxalate stone removed from the bladder. Huh, wow. I, yep, yeah, imagine trying to pee that out. Hmm, what a fun time the body must go through. Absolute unit of Stormtrooper. My god, it's absolutely helpful. This diving suit from 1907. One thing I do love about the olden days is how, no matter what sort of work you were doing, you seem to always have to wear the most impractical of uniforms. Like you were clearly some sort of engineer on a boat. Why do you need a hat and tie? It's great you look dapper, but yeah, let's get that tie caught in a chain. See how that goes for you. This chinchil ass. Now, hey now, let's not objectify this cute fuzzy beauty's Oh my God. 14th century Hungarian swords. I can only imagine the unit who wielded swords like these. My best guess is it was someone who would constantly tumble roll around the battlefield. They probably had a rather dark soul. Half gallon of Cholula I ordered for my tacos trailer. Two liters of hot sauce. Because either you're a business or you like to make your butthole suffer. Absolute unit of a cat. My God. It has no hair! Oh, except on its head. I am on a special diet. Please do not give me treats. Don't listen to the sign! Found this gigantic banana in Target today. Other bananas for scale? Wow. There's, um, there's somewhere we can go here, but we're not going to. Because this banana deserves respect. It just wants to be loved like anyone else, okay? It doesn't need this attention and objectification from another species! I just have a small banana, and basically what I do is- Teabag Mountain. Whoa. Whoa. My mate's dad had to go into a flat to do some maintenance and this was in the kitchen. I can't believe people live like this. 
Is that tea bags? I what? That that's like just genuine concern for their mental health. I could only fear the d dread and depression they go through constantly seeing the state of their life like this. This chicken tender I had in my lunch today. I asked for it specifically and the lady said, Honey, you look like the right person for that chicken tender. Oh, how nice. What, what are they saying by that? This is a lot of calories, but clearly you're fat enough where this would fit in your diet. Oh, um, thank you. Proud of you. Unit of the freshwater variety. Dude, that fish has to be dead because if it flails around, there is no way that man is keeping a hold of it. Like that is pure muscle. Now I'm not just talking about the stud. Fibonacci bigs. There's something majestic about this, but also I can't help but imagine what they look like rolling down a hill. This Iagle. Oh, oh my God. That's six foot nine Thor in the red shirt. Wait, he's six foot nine? <laughs> then who is he? From the US National Tick Collection, which I just found exists today. Oh, oh, that's, that's uncomfortable. Like it had to die at that size, surely. I mean, what? Is its body designed to expand that big without just becoming cumbersome? Chunky tiger cub. <sighs> it's so cute. And cranky at me, what, what did I do, man? Oh, you saw that uncomfortably large bellied Ladius too in the comments, didn't you? You're mad that you saw them, but also scared and concerned. Yes, I understand. I don't know who needed to see a 4,000 pound block of cheddar today, but here it is. Banana for scale. Wow, that's one tenth of a Carlos. Was told to post my lizard here. He's on a diet. A diet of tiny chopped up Carloses. This wisdom tooth's root. See this right here. Guys, gals, and non-binary pals is why you should be thankful to be normal and not unique or different physically like this. You don't want this? Absolute unit of the person watching this video drawn on top of a mountain in Alaska. Poor ski patrollers that had to erase it for scale. Oh, you see this, fellow males? They're trying to wipe men from history. This is feminism out of control. The traps on this puss puss. Yo, cat, what? How? Why? You don't even have long enough thumbs to grip the dumbbell, so I don't understand. Chunk truck. Don't make your fellow drivers on the road say, God damn, as you speed past them. Make them say, God damn. Turtle coming out of hibernation. Oh, Bruce, he's going on another bender. <laughs> Our new TV remote. I was going to question why, but then I noticed how big your glasses are. And you know what? It makes sense. Octobase. Okay, as someone who went to conservatory and studied classical music for two decades, I didn't even know this was a thing. I actually had to look it up because I wanted to make sure it wasn't photoshopped. And apparently there's only one orchestra with one of these, the Montreal Symphony. So this is probably the Montreal Symphony. And according to Wikipedia, only like 10 total exist unless they're not listing others, mostly in museums and stuff like that. They, they, the strings are so thick that you can't even bow them. You have to play them with levers and pedals. Absolute unit of a horse. Girl for scale. A horse girl or, oh no, that's a horse. I want a hug from that horse. That's adorable. Louis Colin in 1904. Colon, Colon, that, that's such an unfortunate last name, is well known for his 13 foot long beard. Good Lord. Which he used to hold his cats in. <laughs> Firstly, cat beard nest. Secondly, I like that it's just phrased as to hold his cats in, like people, you know, carry around their wallet, their keys and, and their cats. The world record for alcohol consumption is by Andre the Giant, who drank 156 beers in one sitting. Over 73 liters or 16 gallons. Yeah, you know those those drums on the top of like water coolers and offices? Those are five gallons, so like three of those and an extra one for luck. In other news, when he went to use the restroom, he raised the water table. This charger is 45 feet long. That, that's weird. Uh, also partly because I thought the spec for USB was 32 feet max. It may have changed since the last time I looked it up though. Cookie my wife made. Okay, aside from the Yoda sentence, uh, did any, does anybody remember the mall stores that sold cookie cakes? I don't know anybody who actually ever got one for their birthday because it's, it's a cookie and they're also like horrendously expensive, but, but, but they, they just sold giant, they were just giant cookies on display with like words and candles and stuff on them. This is what it reminds me of. The Baylong Elevator. Nope. I mean, I wouldn't be the first one to try it out, but if it's been operating for a while, sure. Uh-huh. 
Seems a lot better than taking the stairs. Double king size bed. Th this one doesn't seem as creative. Like you just you just put two kings next to each other. Is this is this what Alaskan king is? Whatever the the giant one is. The headboard's just really massive for no good reason. This chunker that I found in a bag of defect jelly beans. Can you buy defect jelly? Wow! Wait, is are, are buying defect jelly beans a thing? I I want to do that. Best before February nineteenth, twenty twenty one though, so I wouldn't eat these. One Jelly Belly Lane. These are Jelly Bellies. Man, I gotta look up and see if they sell rejects. This massive flag that was literally laid over Hoover Dam. This actually screws with your sense of perception because the flag is so large that even if you imagine like a really large flag, it's it's gonna make the dam seem small, not the flag seem huge. It only really starts to, to, to sink in when you like look down, you're like, oh, that's a road with like cars and stuff on it. My parents' dog, Monzarella. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Y'all got extra cheese. That's adorable. Oh my God. I want to give Mozzarella a hug. Say hi to Mozzarella for me. The Canadian lynx have the fluffiest paws. I think I've seen these, but yes, I have seen these before. They are amazing. They look like they're wearing giant, like fuzzy mittens, like giant costume paws on top of their paws. It's so cute. Absolute unit of guinea pig. I saw a tweet from PM Seymour saying that uh, we should call capybaras guinea pigs. And I think, I think, we found the guinea pigs. You can talk to this person right here to get one. This is one of the largest pizzas you can buy in New York. Oh, is this Coronets? With the, the pizza box, this is actually a double unit. Oh, this is not Coronets, okay. I tried looking this up because uh, I'm genuinely curious because Coronets is kind of known as the, the largest readily available slice, not something you have to special order or anything. And there's also a place called Pizza Barn, uh, which is home to the Super Slice, but that's in Yonkers. So so they're, they're not, not even remotely Part, part of New York. I have no idea where this is from, but I'm pretty sure it's like a special order or something like that. Still cool. 100 year old rhododendron. Did I get that right? I, I can never pronounce that, that plant. And the woman who planted it. Okay, I was a little bit zoomed in and all I saw was the plant at first. I was like, did the plant eat her? <laughs> there she is. Well done. Look at the chaos you have brought upon this earth. I am so proud. This pod had five peanuts inside. Good Lord, they got busy. This police officer's arm. <laughs> Holy hell! He is one arming like two of those road. I don't even know what they're called, and I've seen them every day. It's pretty impressive. Absolute unit of a pot to boil. 1,200 eggs at once. I, I, I'm pretty sure we've moved into cauldron territory at this point. One of my former IT consulting clients uh, downtown was a restaurant, and uh, they were all about like their sauce, their pasta sauce, and they they made it every day in this giant, about this size pot, cauldron, something like that but it just made the entire restaurant smell amazing. Fat Cat Patches weighs a mere 40.3 pounds. That, that's an egg with legs. I, I, is Patches being arrested? We love that belly. Is Patches okay? <laughs> like every time I see a, a pet this large, I'm just like, adopt Patches today. I, I'm pretty sure Patches ate the last person that adopted him. The Antonov 225, the heaviest and most powerful plane ever built. Oh, I think I saw a documentary on this or something like it. They use this plane, to, I, I, I think, they use this plane to like transport other planes inside of it. It's like a cargo plane. And it was something like you could lift like several like fully loaded semi-trailers, which are usually around 80,000 pounds, uh, which kind of screws with your head when you think of a plane with other planes inside of it. Dragon the Hut. <laughs> Also, that rock looks like a stack of pancakes, and now I want pancakes. Maybe he thought they were pancakes too, and that's uh, and he's been eating them. The Hyperion Corporation. I'm sorry, played too much for Borderlands. Hyperion, the world's tallest known living tree, is a sequoia in Redwood National Park, California, that stands at 380 feet, 116 meters. There's always one overachiever, just one annoying guy who has to destroy the curve. Actually, this this looks like one of those fake cell phone towers that's like either planted in the middle of a field with like nothing else around, or is in a forest but it sticks way out and doesn't look natural at all. It's just, oh yes, I am, I am totally tree. I am not 5G tower. Genuinely very cool though. I've seen red ones in person and they're just wild. It just it screws with your head. NFL versus regular dude's arm. That's really impressive. Like I'm always impressed by the physique of sports people as somebody who doesn't really understand sports. The ball is over there. You could just go put it over there. But like the physical strength and stuff like that, this is just really cool. Awesome bioengineering. The goo of 30 cream eggs, phrasing, makes one big cream egg. Phrasing. Okay, I, I don't I don't want to know why you know this or I, 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 I don't feel like we can 
I'm gonna walk away from this. He has risen, freezing. That's a chunky loaf though. <laughs> a man will cover in Weisbaden, Weisbaden, Germany. Whoa. Oh, that is so cool. It better make like clinky steampunk noises when it opens and the stairs like rotate down. Look, not everything in the world has to be a special effects from a movie, but everything could be. And that I feel is the goal we should be working towards. Imagine seeing this unit on the road. Imagine seeing two of them. Cause there's two of them. Yeah, you start staring at your car glass. You're like that, that glass is noticeably thin. German cyclist, Robert uh, Forsterman, <laughs> absolute thighs. Okay, this is actually interesting because I thought like with cycling, like your calves and stuff like that would get just as big as your thighs. But like, apparently the muscles you actually use are just all in your thighs. I like biking, but I'm not like professional or care about it enough for that. Yeah, this just looks like three different men glued together. My boyfriend and I got pictures taken with wolves today. And this cutie loves belly rubs. Oh my God, look at it. Ah, I want to go pet a wolf. I want to give a wolf belly rubs. That's so cute. I have I have no fear index when it comes to animals. It's it's a problem. <laughs> Giant iron tree built in the Russian Ministry of Agriculture. <laughs> Of course, <laughs> the Russians slash the Soviet Union would build a metal tree for their agriculture department to cast shadow over the arch. <laughs> well, it's 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 not as robot y as I expected, but but yeah, it's, it's a choice. Siberian Unicorn. That's an excellent band name. Once roamed among humans, surviving in Eastern Europe and Western Asia until at least 39,000 years ago, around the same time of Neanderthals and early modern humans. Huh, that, yeah, I mean, it's not a horse with a horn, but that's, that's a unicorn. Like, functionally speaking, I always wonder if things like, you know, fairy tales, like how much of it actually might have existed. Cause I'm sure there's fossils we've ne we have never found and may never find. Also took me a second to realize there's a whole man just behind that right leg. This enormous asparagus <laughs> I harvested today. Normal one plus banana for scale. Always gotta have a banana for scale. Good Lord, that looks like bamboo. Like that is so big, it looks like a stick of bamboo. This 6,000 year old ba baobab tree in Senegal. That's a whole house. <laughs> Like, how many people are there? One, two, three, four, these, I mean, there's a kid, but like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I'm gonna stop there because it, then it turns, but like 11 people wide. You could, you could like, I don't want to kill the tree, but if the tree had died at some point, you could carve that out and make a whole tree house out of that. Like it would be a house made of tree. Absolute unit number 107. Uh, yes, we have 115, which <laughs> looks like a jackal. And 107, the Grumpy Puddle. Wait, is that a guinea pigs? Is that a capybara? Oh no, this is a beaver named Daisy. She's pretty heavy. Uh, yeah, that is a massive beaver. Imagine getting tail smacked by that. You, you'd just be absent for the next week. Baseball plus sized hail. Oh, sorry. Baseball plus sized hail in Iowa recently. That is wild. I mean, we used to get hail a lot in Florida and I remember the reports was always, it was always golf ball sized. It was never quite that big because once it hits the ground, it's, it's kind of smaller. Uh, but oh, we never had hail that big, Jesus. Imagine going outside and that thing's coming at you at terminal velocity. You'd hit your head and you just reboot. John Truden, heavyweight ski champion. <laughs> Good Lord. That is that is absolutely magnificent. I, I want to see footage of this guy like doing ski stuff. I don't know anything about skiing. This absolute unit of a schnitzel I ate. Holy schnitzel indeed. <laughs> Little tiny lemon just like think. That lemon's doing a lot of work for garnish. The plate's under it like I can't breathe. This bucket of soy sauce, someone gave me. Fuck. Holy hell. That's like five gallons, isn't it? Yeah, it's a five gallon bucket. That, this is the thing, like primer comes in. What are you gonna, what color are you gonna paint the house? Soy sauce. You could turn the entire Mississippi River into the Atlantic Ocean with that much salt. CrossFit athlete, Danny Spie Spiegel. Okay, this, this looks way more balanced compared to the, the biker, like this, this seems like everything is all muscly at once. This is what I expected to happen. Sphere, praise the sphere, worship the sphere, give back rubs to the sphere. This thick boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a squirrel. That's a squirrel. This dude woke up from hibernation, found his nuts, and found everybody else's. Ate them all right on it. Doesn't run. He just bounces. 
I'm six foot one, 220 pounds. This guy's a monster. I don't know who he is, but I would I would be very scared to meet him if he was angry. I, I feel like I should find out what his favorite snack is and just carry that around in case I ever meet him. Just be like, I, in case you're in a bad mood or hangry or something here, please don't break my everything. I'm like 130 pounds wet. Absolute unit of a stout. Oh, that's a glove. Oh, it's like trying to figure out why the legs look weird. Absolutely massive chonker. Christopher Reeves, neck and jaw when he's played Superman in 1978. <laughs> he looks like a wide load sign. The camera adds 10 pounds, I swear. <laughs> this, this also looks like a cat that has done something that they know is stupid, but they're trying to play it off like this is exactly what they meant to do it. Yeah. The Henjob no Antachi sort. Just murder me in the comments. It's fine. In the, oh God. Han, ha, Hananoka Hatch. That word. Shrine in Japan. <laughs> Stands at an amazing 15.25 feet. Wait, I had to flick back to the text. Sword? This this is considered a sword. Do you hold it from the middle? Is like the Klingon uh, weapon? H how do you use it? This seems like one of those impractical things that was made by like a, a blacksmith uh, who, who just wanted to show off. Like, oh, nobody can make a sword longer than 10 feet. Ah, I'm gonna make one that's 15 feet. And he just like rolls up to, I don't know, sword con 1890. <laughs> Behold, and the whole crowd claps. This is acceptable good lord cave johnson be proud of that lemon when god is your lemon you have found a new god the undertaker and his grandma 1991 i do know who the undertaker is only because of nerd cubed uh i've seen this picture before i didn't know who it was though okay if you want a sense of actual scale like his grandma isn't that short like th that's a red solo cup over there like i'm guessing she's like five seven five six ish dude is massive this bruiser of a cat we affectionately named Tank. We saw on a walk uh, this afternoon. Tank is always watching. Tank sees all and eats all of it. Now that will get the job done. I'm more concerned that this truck is pooping a snake, but also I have no idea what you're towing with that. Cause, cause it's not like there's uh, I don't Mar um, Marina cleats. I have no idea what you're, what you're towing with that. Look at the size of this carrot. You have found the arm of the carrot man. The carrot man will arrive to retrieve it tonight. Good luck. This absolute whisk. <laughs> Is this for the 1200 eggs pot from earlier? Is this how you whisk all the eggs once you've cooked them? I know that doesn't make sense, but shut up. Damn, that's a thick raccoon. <laughs> that's, I, I can't say I've ever seen a raccoon with cheeks, but I guess that's what my screen is going to show me today. <laughs> Think he's been eating more than just lettuce. No, I'm pretty sure it was just lettuce. It was just an entire field. It was all of California. This lad. What in the, what What in the, wait, 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 hang on. The face looks a little bit weird, but fine, whatever. Uh, and then the shoulders just make long distance calls to opposite sides of the continent and with little tiny arms and, and, and then just straight lines straight down to the feet, which appear to be normal. What character creator did you make this mannequin in? Arctic hairs. Wait, 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 hang on. Hairs. Yes, Hair, hairs. That, that's a bunny? Why is it walking like a lamb? Why, why? Oh my God, the ones in the, oh my God, the ones in the back. Ah, y'all know my eyesight is screwed. So like I have problems with contrast. So I thought the ones in the back were like snow mounds or snow, like the, something. No, those are bunnies. Oh my God, I want to give a sleeping one a hug. And oh my God, the ones with the four legs look faster than they should be. Do they still hop? Wait, do they? I have so many questions about Arctic hairs now. First time mother gives birth to 13 pound baby girl. The second biggest in the UK. After her bump was so big, doctors thought she was having twins and her skin stretched so much it bled. Oh, 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 ow, ow. That's a massive piece. She's gonna end up being the one from like, on the CrossFit stuff. Take me to the fridge, tiny human. <laughs> that cat's about to clean out the entire fridge. 36 inch tires, 5XL bike, normal sized lady, absolute unit of a man. Oh, that's wild. Oh, that, cause he looks normal and he's like out from the store a little bit. So like your brain kind of puts him farther out and then the lady is there and the lady is normal size and your brain just goes, what the hell is going on? Still a very cool photo. Enjoy your new bike, giant man. I hope you have a pleasant ride with it. The legs on Tom Platts. I don't know who Tom Platts is, but good Lord almighty. In the middle photo, they look like loaves of bread. I want bread now. Now, imagine how many critters are living in that unit. Yeah, these trees look really cool until you take a thermal camera to them. 
And then you're like, I'm going to leave now. Me, standing next to a Cat 797 dump truck. <gasps> Are these the quarry ones? Are they? Yes! Okay, this might not be at a quarry because I don't know the context, but there are quarry dump trucks that are so massive that like if you don't move them for too long, they'll get flat spots on the tires for the weight. And starting that, they sound like a train. The, the engine is probably the same as a train. They're insane. And there's like no way to communicate scale on this. If the editors have an extra few seconds, they can throw out some Google images of like just quarry dump truck. They are just so cool. I'm sorry I'm nerding about this. I just like it. It's fun engineering huge tv in mike tyson's abandoned mansion mike tyson has an abandoned man does he still own it what's an abandoned mansion like how do you just own a mansion and like not have enough time to hang out there i mean the tv is fine but like it's it's a it's a rear projection like you can make those as big as you want so i'm not as impressed by that i'm sorry it's it's basically a backwards projector it's it's not it, it, you can make you've seen giant projector screens before i'm sure what's he thinking i don't remember eating all of that Oh god, who gave Frosty some juice? <laughs> I like to. If you if you look at his face, he's got two little eyebrows that are like impressed. Yeah, that's right. No sun's gonna melt me. Absolute monster of a lime my grandma grew. <laughs> oh my god. How much of that is rind versus like actual flesh of the lime? That's what I wanna know. Oh my god, I didn't even see the next photo when it's in their hand. Oh, it's like a gourd. That is melon size. That could take someone out. This thing is ponder worthy. They're pondering the lime. Looks like a mythical beast. Whoa. How many people is that there? Hold on. It's like 28 to 30 people long. I know that's not like a valid unit of measurement, but I'm just saying like, that's not even all the people in the photo. This thing is a monster. Second monster croc killed in Lahadadu in four days. Oh man, dude, where I grew up, cause I, I grew up a Florida man, you know? So we saw our fair share of alligators. These things, like alligators and crocs get to be huge. It is insane that like, <laughs> it's just that they exist, I suppose. Massive high reach excavator next to a normal sized excavator. The massive high reach can reach up to 200 100 feet. Let's take a look at, whoa, oh my God. Don't you ever think it's crazy just like the amount of technology we built and just what it allows us to do that we had, like, what it would have taken way longer before it was invented. That's just some insanity. I had to buy this onion because it was so fucking big. It needed to be mine. It looks like 700 plus grams. Good find. Oh, from the official onion wear. Damn, and he was spot on. A big bitch, 702 grams. That's the chunkin' onion. The funyun. Oh, it's like a funyun chimichanga. I can just imagine biting into that. The flavor that's gonna, oh, oh man. You got lucky, you're in for a treat. That's the funyun, that's the real funyun. Early 80s, oven and microwave, still cooking. Wow, they really used to be this big. I mean, it makes sense. Look at all the knobs, the dials. A lot of tech was really big before it was, you know, modernized and put into smaller and smaller packages. Straight out of a fairy tale, a humble fisherman battling a storm stumbled across a colossal pearl worth 100 million. Clueless of its value, he simply kept the 34 kilogram gem under his bed as a good luck charm until he had to move out from his house. Is that real? The pearl from this story has never been sold and so its value is purely hypothetical. It was given by the fisherman to his aunt and she in turn gave it to the city where she lives to use it as a tourist attraction. I see, interesting context. It has value, but the 100 million valuation is purely fantasy. No one has offered to buy it at that price or any other price for that matter. And no auction has ever been made and the pearl has never been authenticated. It may or may not be real. Its value is unknown. But don't, don't, I like the fantasy, man. Anybody know who this absolute unit is? Everywhere I look, it says Mills Darden, but it isn't. What well, goodness. Big boy, kingpin. He was seven foot six, I see. And how big was this boy? His average weight was 1,049 pounds. Wow. Pikachu the Devourer. <laughs> Oh man, now, well now you gotta take it home. It just looks silly. That's the rule. If it's a silly looking plush, you gotta take it home. Average Canadian black bear versus Arctic polar bear harvested at their respective average weights. Whoa, oh, sorry. I knew polar bears were big. Never quite occurred to me that they were that big. That is goddamn insanity. <laughs> That is, sorry, I'm just, I'm like taking aback. This schnitzel, 
Oh my goodness, that is that is a Texan-sized schnitzel, partner. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. This Korean statue depicts a Jesus so jacked, it looks like his last supper was pure protein. Blessed are the buff, for thee shall inherit the earth. Jesus died for your gains. Hippos have surprisingly very little fat in their bodies. They're mostly comprised of raw muscle and can run at 19 miles per hour. These are horrifying statistics. Why would you tell me this? Oh, and I hate this image too. I thank you. I hate it. Yep. They're mostly muscle. They're they're murderous water puppies. False gharials can unexpectedly grow rather large and robust than most would expect. Oh, I see. It's another croc, huh? Dude, this is the third big croc. We've the third big ass reptile, actually, that we've seen. I really hope we get one that's just like all charts, all bets are off, just monstrous. If that's false, I hate to see what the real is. Exactly, that's the false one? Good God. <laughs> Carrot at the restaurant I work at. How good is it for your eyesight? Let's see it. Oh, it's great for your eyesight. Eat the whole thing in one bite. Bugs Bunny be damned. Bactrian camel harasses white rhino in Long Leet Safari Park. <laughs> God, they're bullying each other. Leave them alone. That rhino could gore you at any second. Horn right through the brain. This Alocasia Zabrina at my Airbnb. Okay, some greenery to liven up the room. Maybe a little too much for that particular area of the house. A little too crazy, but I see the vision. Makes it, makes it feel a little alive. A real photo of Hyperion, the world's tallest tree. Now, you can't just show us that and not show us how high up it goes, right? I gotta, I, I, you can't just pique my interest like that. It is a coast redwood, so it's a sequoia. Okay, makes sense. Its height is 380 feet. Oh my God. That's some insanity, man. But imagine this thing falls. The sound that would make in the woods would be insane if anyone was around to hear it, that was. An Irish wolfhound next to a mini donkey. Aw, well, those are just nice. <laughs> Brutus, a one-armed bull saltwater crocodile located in the Adelaide River in Queensland, Australia, measuring at 5.5 meters in length, will show us Brutus. Oh my God, just the, the, the size of it alone is insanity, dude. It's got only one arm and it's still going crazy. This guy was standing in the middle of the road. He doesn't care. Go ahead, try and pass without his permission. He'll show you what's up. He turned away. He's turned his back to you. Now that doesn't mean you can pass. It just means he's uh he's testing you. He's testing you out. Absolute unit of a Ferrero Rocher. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The ball. That's when you gotta like slice up and serve like it's a cake. Is it just the shell or does it have all the filling too? It's just the shell and has four regular ones wrapped inside. Boo. Boring. This absolute unit of a Great Dane. Great Danes are just, they're, they're tall, but they still look like dogs, so they get a pass. Like, Borzoi are tall in, like, a scary, like, skinwalker way. Great Danes are tall in, like, a, hey, let's cute big dog way. I'm all right with that one. Now, look at that banana. That bad boy's got so much potassium in him, it's crazy. Bananas for scale. Well, thank you. I had to make sure it was how it would look compared to bananas. Scotsman Angus Macaskill. Largest non-obese human to ever live. Eight feet tall, 80 inch chest. Here, picture stand next to a friend that is six foot five. Wow. We, oh, this dude looks like every, like you just picture old timey person. And this is the dude that comes to mind a hundred percent. He is the stock photo, man. Huge sea monster emerges from Dorset cliffs. Oh, excuse me. It is the skull of what is a pliosaur terrorizing our oceans, you know, just 150 million years ago. So thankfully not around anymore. Or is it? Blue Marlin, the giant ship that ships other ships and oil rigs. Oh, <laughs> what? Uh, sorry, I just, I, again, it's the absolute size of it all. I'm just in awe. How do they get that off the, uh, the ship though? That's my question. How do you remove it once it's on? How do you get it on even? Arctotherium and Gustadins. The giant short-faced bear from place to sea. I, I'm going to get that word wrong, but it's from South America. Oh, so it is as tall as we are with giant knives for hands. Great. Fantastic. This dachshund is a unit. So he put, oh no, we know. No, no, no. Oh, he's chonky, chonky. Poor guy. Biggie Smalls. Now that's fun. He's chonky too, but he's not going to be dragging across the floor. That's all right. Sister finally finished my snail for our family Christmas. Hey, what a cute little guy. Banana for scale. 
again. Thank you. This airport snowplow. Seem, uh, you know, I'm actually not surprised by this one. This one checks out for a whole airport. Got to get snow off the, what, the runway? Makes sense to me. Perfect size. If maybe, if, if, honestly, maybe a little too small for the whole runway. 816 kilogram bodacious bull. Of the riders who tried to stay on his back for the required eight seconds during his career, bodacious bucked off 127 of them. Most in the first second or two. He was eventually removed from the pro circuit for fear that he would kill someone. Good Lord, that is an angry looking bull. Neosporosis Diana, known as Fatso in Southeastern Australia. I see. I had to look it up to make sure this thing wasn't dangerous. You know what I do think though? Mentioning that it's uh, from Australia, when it looks like this, you didn't need to say that it's from Australia. I could just assume, I could make the assumption that something this insane is in, in, in Australia, you know? But from what I'm reading, uh, it is a, I think this is a huntsman spider. Great, fantastic, gross, yucky. It looks like a potato with legs. This stroller. <laughs> yep, souped up my stroller cause my baby ain't no wuss. <laughs> A life-size model of FMNH PR 2081 nicknamed Sue, the most well-preserved Tyrannosaurus Rex specimen discovered. Oh, the name, wow. I mean, with a name like that, yeah. And that's pretty cool, man. Scary that these things existed, but cool. <laughs> Nobody arguing about feathers in the comments? Definitely early then. Well, adult Tyrannosaurus skin has been found and it was mostly covered in scales. Any feathers it may have had either shed off as it matured or were sparse at best. Okay, but how about lips? Can we spark that debate? What, lips on the T-Rex? On the now this, I don't know. A study suggests that T-Rexes had lips. They were puckering up. Incredible. This beast of a sweet potato. Sorry for the potato quality. Well, you know, it's understandable given what you're showing us. Oh, that's a chonky yam for sure. Big ol' boy. This Clydesdale. <laughs> Oh my God. Why do horses always look like they've just been given bad news? Look at his face, poor guy. He's like grimacing, he's chilling though. This Monstera in our local hospital. I don't know if I said that Monstera, Monstera, I don't know. Oh, cool, big plant. Again, this one I actually maybe can justify a little more because it's occupying kind of a wide open space. Um, I'd prune it maybe a little bit, but I, I think I think this one actually works out. That thing is Jumanji-ing all over the place. I, I mean, it's pretty contained. I, I, like I said, I'd prune it some, but it's all right. Byron Washington, a junior at Texas high school powerhouse DeSoto, has gone viral after a photo of him playing in Saturday's Texas State Football Championship took the internet by storm. Oh my God. And he's a junior? Dude's a tank. That poor chicken. <laughs> oh no. It's a mighty, mighty egg. The big cheese. One year aged medium sharp cheddar. It's 4,500 pounds. It's 5.99 a pound. How much would that be if I were to buy the whole thing? It's a near $27,000 big cheese. You telling me I gotta put a down payment on a block of cheese? It's worth it to be cheesy. That cheesy? Priceless. This cat's feet are units. Whoa, that's some crazy toe beanage. What is going on? Wonder what, how that, I wonder what's going on with that actually. I had to look it up. Is th I guess this is a, uh, they're called a polydactyl. It is a condition in which an extra finger or toe is present on the hand or foot. Very fascinating. My buddy's wallet. Oh, big bulky wallet getting you down, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Sucks to be you, man, not me though. I mean, I can help make it thinner. I can hold a dollar or two. My butt hurts just looking at that monstrosity. I'm gonna set you up by at least an inch. This person's great dame. When someone can complains about dog expenses, I laugh simply because this is the kind of dog I gotta provide for. I see we're playing fast and loose with the definition of dog. Hey, it's a dog. Just like any other dog. He's just big, he's a tall boy. Some big ass tires. How big we talking? I see. Some large tires. David Attenborough next to the femur of an Argentinosaurus. Oh my God. Thing is, <laughs> it's taller than him. Like that he's just holding it up. Yeah, it's all your strength, David. Don't worry about it. This jug of tobacco sauce at my mom's house. You mean Tabasco? Didn't even know you could buy it by the gallon. Dude, that is a trough of Tabasco. For those who are pepper sauce inclined. Of the lemon I was gifted today. That dog wants it. Doesn't matter how sour it might taste, he wants it. Give him a taste. If you're a doctor, revert your eyes. Now this is, <laughs> that keeps all of them away. My parents tree this year. Wait, no, that's dope. I actually, oh, that, that's actually very cute. 
It's not very tall. I'm um, actually, you know what? It is tall. It's tall and it's chunky, but it's Christmas, so it's okay. Voluptuous grape has got some curves. It's thick with a couple of C's. This absolute unit of a tree in Gainesville, Florida. Whoa. Oh, dude, that would host the dopest tree house, actually. Like that you're hugging the tree, man. Yeah, it's, that's your baby, dog. Absolute unit of a cicada. Absolute not. N no, absolutely the hell not. No, you put that back wherever you found it. By far the biggest beaver I've ever seen. Okay, this has to be like a state monument or something because there, there are very few excuses where you will need a beaver that poses a hazard to exceptionally low local bridges. Daniel Lambert, 1770 to 1809. Jailkeeper for the city of Lancaster. Local legend claims he was so large and strong, his prison did not require locks. He simply sat in the doorway and dared any prisoners to try to escape. <laughs> See, that, that was gonna be the joke that I was going to make, but it's literally what he did. He just, if he just sits in the doorway, you just can't get around him. Still has to sleep sometime though. And he still has to eat food. So, you know, you, you hope, you hope the chef is on his side. Big boy hops. Big boy fly. This absolute unit of a carrot. Yeah, Studio Ghibli is the exception. This is what real anime food looks like. I would love to know how long that took. How long what? Oh, you'd think after a while they would just be like, you know, there's a, sm a couple smaller trees over there. Why, why don't we just leave this one alone? This seems like way too much work. These curtains. I, 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 I'm inclined to think this is Photoshopped, but I've also seen really big theater curtains and, and they're kind of like this and the bends and folds in this makes me think they're, they're real. If I'm being fooled, oh well, but I know some curtains for concert halls are like a thousand to 1500 pounds. They're insane. This is Balto, a Siberian Husky who was embalmed to become immortal. Balto became fam famous in 1925 when he covered 1,050 kilometers in 27 hours. The race against time was to bring anti diphtheria serum to Alaska. Uh, the normal post of time would be 25 days. Holy hell! Balto was the leader of the pack that pulled the sleds 40 degrees below zero. My lord, he saved the lives of many children. A great dog. Aww, he's such a good boy. Gabriel Gabby Lemos Garcia, 6.2 feet, 209 pounds. Seen here, sizing up an opponent for spontaneous face surgery. If you don't like your face, she'll knock it clean off. I've never seen a fat tiger girl until now, so uh, I felt like I needed to share. Oh my God, that's really cute. Oh my God, I want to give it a hug. Boy, and all the frosted flakes. They were great. This log cabin. I'm going with photo. I feel like this is photoshopped because the windows, the windows would be absolutely mess. <laughs> This don't feel right, but I could be entirely wrong. This long arse french fry. Oh my God, I want it. Oh my God, where is this? This looks like generic diner food and I need it. Absolute unit of avocado. Dude took one picture of what he was supposed to look like when he grew up and just kept going. Just like, I'm gonna be the NBA all-star of avocado. Stop what you're doing. Canadian lynx also do the thing that house cats do where they stop grooming with their legs stuck in the air. Okay. Carry on. Houdini's stacked legs. His knees have faces. His thighs have thighs. He, he, he needs a haircut. Absolute white rabbit candy unit. Regular size white cat rabbit candy and Tobey Maguire Spider-Man action figure for scale. <laughs> oh, is that what these are called? Oh, I'd forgotten about these. I accidentally stole a pack of these in Disney World when I was very small because I picked them up in the store and asked if I could have them and my parents said no. And then I forgot I was carrying them and we just walked out of the store with them and I felt so bad and we ran back and paid for them. They were delicious. Hello, Toby McGuire. I've been told that my rescue dog is an absolute unit many times now. And all of those times were correct. Oh my God, it's so fluffy. I just never realized how massive Ferrigno was making Arnold look small. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know anything about sports, but that's impressive. My boyfriend couldn't understand why I asked for a banana when I met his cat. For sca- my god, for scale, boyfriend. The mighty Mississippi and her many tributaries. An absolute unit of a river system. Yeah, the Mississippi is way bigger than you have any idea. It's insane. Like, you think of Mississippi, you don't think New York and New Mexico, but yeah. Absolute unit of a mimosa. I feel like you've seen enough of these giant drink things for the, the novelty to have worn off, but you know, good for good for you for spotting one in the wild. So later, uh, salt mine. Wow. I, I want to go, I want to visit that. I'm not 
usually one for that. See, that looks like a cool travel destination. That looks like where, where they filmed aliens, like from where they found the eggs. If you've never seen an obese axolotl before, you're missing out. This is Hank. He has been way overfed by his previous owners and is now on a diet. My good lord. Can, can Hank swim? Or, or does he just kind of trundle? Olympus Mons, largest mountain in the solar system. Olympus Mons on the planet Mars. It is the largest mountain in the solar system and is about 22 kilometers high. That's 13 and a half miles in freedom units. Important. Arctic foxes not only gain about 50% of their base body weight for the winter, they also grow a thick winter coat up to five inches long, turning them into chunky beasts of mythical proportion. I just I just want a stuffed animal of that. I just want a stuffed animal of an Arctic fox in winter mode. Just squish mode. <laughs> squish mode active. The maned wolf, a large canine that resembles a fox or a wolf, but it's neither of those. N nah, that's a tactical assault deer. Yeah, they go out in front of the regular deer. It's like the SEAL team, but but for deers. The DEAL team. 55 inch TV versus the new 98 inch we sell. Finally, a TV I can see. Genuinely, a 55 inch TV was my computer monitor for the longest time. I currently use a 49 inch ultra wide, a 32 by nine, um, but I have a little voiceover nook recording booth now and I might genuinely put a 70 inch in that one because I'm blind as hell. Her nickname is Grilled Potato. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Oh, that's genuinely wonderful. Uh, I got nothing to add to that one. That just made me happy. A huge M... <laughs> From seven kilometers deep off the coast of New Zealand, our New Zedland for you UK folks, for amphipods, uh, this is a giant. Yeah, I fully respect the fact that, that you found a giant one, uh, but it just looks like a really aggressive shrimp. Like, I, I need to see a regular amphipod. Quick, jump off the boat and grab another one. <laughs> Dive down seven kilometers. This chair, bring a friend. You can play Mario Kart Double Dash in real life. Arctodus bear. That, that's not a bear. That's, no. That's a wolf tiger assault hybrid. No, 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 no. No, I'm not buying the fact that that's a bear. Holy c cat. Also not a cat, small man in cat costume. That's, that's not a cat. That's way too big. Friend didn't get the full thing, but this absolute unit of a truck that was at my small town bar. The owner was a bouncer and he was almost half my size. Wait, 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 hang on. The, the, wait, wait. <laughs> This was the bouncer's truck. And I'm going to loosely guess that you're like 5'7", five, 5'8"-ish, five, because that's a pretty, pretty tall truck. So, and the bouncer was half yours. How does the bouncer get in? Or were you half the size of the bouncer? The level of humor in the story depends upon this information. Absolute unit eating a chip. That chip is not as big as you think it is, dude. I do like that one creature, at least one creature, just evolved purely to have their mouth shaped like a bowl of soup. Like, hey, what are we going to catch? A fish. Okay, so we're gonna have like a beak and we're gonna tear it up. No, no, we're gonna have a bowl for a face and we're just gonna scoop. Uh, Frank, you sure about this? This absolute unit of a cosplay costume. <laughs> I, I adore when people take the art style ridiculously literally from movies. Cause like they could have done, you know, just wide shoulders and head in normal place, but no, no, they took the whole art style and we're like, nah, I'm gonna have a couch for shoulder blades. The president of Boland with a chonk cat. Why does every other world leader always look like they're having so much better of a time? Like he just looks like genuinely happy and like, oh my God, I found a cat. I'm very happy to see the cat. The grape compared to a large egg. I, 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 this, this is absolute units, not boss fight. Like you can show a large grape, but you cannot show the grape. You all know what it's capable of. Woman ordered a cheddar roll in a pub in the UK and was given a chunky cheese. <laughs> we have killed the rat of Chucky. This was his last meal. The ears though. Oh my God, it's so Bunnies are my favorite pets and I love them forever and ever and they're just adorable and wonderful, but they will also destroy everything in your home, including wires. Rain worm slash shoe size a 9.5 for comparison. That That's a snake. That is a, that is a whole snake. Top five Soviet leaders ranked by their eyebrows. Number one, Brezhnev. All right, that's a solid start. Number two, there is no number two. There is no competing with Brezhnev. All right, fair enough, okay. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna start this. Absolute chonker resting in preparation for battle. <laughs> oh my God, little paws, little paws are so cute. Oh my God. Behold, holy hell. <laughs> this, this is the hen that lays the eggs 
that Doom Guy eats for breakfast. This is the Egg Bringer, an absolute unit of a desert rose. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Well done, dude. If, if that's your plant, that's, that's wonderful. Well done. Camille Chat, French rugby player. Uh, it's probably pronounced differently. I'm sorry. That... <laughs> That looks like somebody took a perfectly normal video game character and took the neck slider and just max it the frack out and changed nothing else. Cause it looks like you should have a normal neck and it's just tube. Giant banana. Banana on the left for scale. I like how we all can understand that banana is like a roughly equal unit of measurement. Like we don't have metric bananas. It's just everyone's like, oh yeah, I know roughly about how big a banana usually is. And the one on the right is not, that's not a banana, that's a weapon. Dinosaur bone. Scientists uncover giant femur in France. God, can you imagine the drumsticks? You'd have to build a fryer big enough for that, but it would be worth it. The hull of the ship that blocked the Suez Canal in 2021 being repaired. Yet these ships are massive. Like you can comprehend them barely if you see them in person. I grew up sort of close to the Jack's Navy Yard and there were cruise ships and big fishing boats and stuff like that. Like you can look at them and kind of understand how big they are. But as soon as you walk away, you cannot continue to comprehend just how massive. This single clove of garlic. That looks like an onion. <laughs> Genuinely, that's just a whole onion. This terrifying sinkhole in Guatemala. How many, I, maybe it's just me, but I feel like I've seen this image like at least 40 billion times at this point. But people, people keep posting it as if it's new. So I'm not sure if it's me or if it's just like there's a glitch. But yeah, don't fall in that. You might not come out. Absolute unit of a frog. That is an absolute unit of a frog. But if a frog that big ever just hopped up to me in somebody's apartment or whatever the hell this is, I would scream and leave the country by foot on water. I would become Jesus if a giant frog like, like that landed on my lap. This dog-sized cat. Ah, uh, okay, I'll believe that one's a cat. The arms are too thin to for it to be a tiny man. The eyes are so pretty. My son's wallet. Uh, are all of those for different chiropractors? Because I think that's what your son is going to need if... <laughs> They're, they're tilting almost two inches to one side. Snacks addicted tortoise retires after fathering 800 kids and saving his species from extinction. You know what? Good job. In this particular case, good job. You saved your entire species. Huntsman spider, speechless. Yeah, that whole, you know, you know becoming Jesus and leaving the country by, by, by foot over water. No, no, in this case, I just go see Jesus. It's like, no, no, I'll just take myself out, thanks. Like the spider doesn't have to, I'll just die because I don't want to be in this situation anymore. And and then the spider doesn't have to do anything. Win-win. Absolute hamster. That looks like a Sanrio character <laughs> or like an ultra realistic Squishmallow. Bananas my mom brought from the store. Okay, the, the two on the left and right look fine. Uh, the third you should probably go see a doctor about. Soviet world champion swimmer, Shavars Karapetyan, close enough, uh, who saved the lives of 20 people in 1976 when he saw a trolley bus plunge into a reservoir. 1980s. That, <laughs> okay, I get that he saved the lives of 20 people. Oh wait, is this, is okay, is this all for different things? I think it's all for different things. That's, that's fine. I thought this was all for the 20 people and I was like, they, just, just, unify it, okay? Like pick a design style. But no, if this is all of his awards, for a lifetime, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, that, that's kind of a cool picture. Giant lifelike statue of Japanese artist Takashi Murakami. I can see why they had to put the rope there because the meme potential of just putting various things in his hand would be way too much to resist. Like you just walk up and put like a cupcake in his hand and be like, I made this cupcake. Do you like it? <laughs> He'd be like, yes. It is a magnificent cupcake. Well done. I will eat and cherish it. Absolute unit of a temperature blanket my wife made this year. The hell is a temperature blanket? Oh, so you pick the color of the yarn based on the temperature. Wow, that's really cool. I never heard of that. I like that. That's awesome. The abs on this absolute unit of a beluga. Oh yeah, I've seen him before. And this is why I will be walking on the water and not swimming. Because of him. I owe him money. I think my dad's cat is an absolute unit. Do you? Why did you phrase this like a BuzzFeed article? Decently unit-ish. Yes, your dad looks genuinely happy. I, I hope he's having a good life. Tiny boy turns into absolute unit. Puppy! Puppy! Big old puppy. This should be a dog food commercial. Union Pacific train. Yeah, some of the rail lines are absolutely crazy. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. But uh, also for our European friends, every time people are like, ah, oh, you just need more mass transit. This, this is how we get stuff around, like between states. There's like 500 more miles of this to get to the next major town. America's big.